Number 9. Albert Boyakai On June the 26th of 2021, country singer Claire Dunn called a lift for herself and a friend. After a girls' night out in Nashville, Tennessee, the 34-year-old artist had been recorded in the city, and after spending some time with her friends, she and another woman decided to share a ride home at around midnight. After Dunn's friend was dropped off, the singer asked the driver, Albert Boyakai, to take a slower route to her home in order to avoid the highway. However, the 46-year-old man missed her turn and Dunn asked where he was going before instructing him to get back on the route she'd requested earlier. Instead of complying, the driver became agitated and began yelling at her in broken English. As Dunn was scrambling to find her phone and call the police, Boyakai pulled the car over. The man, reported as weighing around 250 pounds on a 6-foot 3-inch frame, reached into the back seat, grabbed the singer by the neck and dragged her out of the car. He threw Dunn on the ground face first, then got back to his car and drove off. The artist sustained minor injuries to her head in the altercation, including bruises and lacerations, but eventually managed to call authorities. They issued a warrant for Boyakai's arrest after Dunn had provided them with his photo from the ride-sharing app. The driver was booked at Davidson County Jail on misdemeanor assault charges and later released on a $1,000 bond. He was permanently removed as a driver from Lyft and his legal case was ongoing as of the latest updates. Number 8. Dondre Lorenz Powell On May the 10th of 2021, Lyft driver Paul Liao was washing his BMW at a gas station in El Monte, east of downtown Los Angeles, California. After the 67-year-old driver had finished and while he was waiting for his next fear, Dondre Lorenz Powell entered his vehicle with a mask on his face. The 26-year-old pointed a handgun at Liao, demanding cash before reaching to the front of the car to take his cell phone from the dashboard. He even reportedly asked the Taiwanese man about his ethnic background, which would later raise suspicions that his actions had been racially motivated. On the camera the driver had installed inside his vehicle, the attacker was seen pointing the gun at his head several times and even hitting him with it twice before exiting the car. The owl's glasses were knocked off and he was left bleeding from his nose following the strikes. Powell, whose mask had slipped from his face during the robbery, made off with roughly $1,500. According to Liao's daughter, the driver had just earned the money from another job. Powell had also wanted to steal the car, but Liao managed to convince him that he wouldn't be able to drive the keyless BMW. The dash cam video proved vital in identifying the robber, who was arrested 10 days later on May the 20th. With the assistance of the U.S. Marshals Service, during a traffic stop in Paramount, his bail was set at $2 million and he faced charges of first-degree robbery, elder abuse during commission of a violent crime, felon in possession of a firearm, and felon in possession of ammunition. Number 7. Deshondra Lee Ward Lyft driver Deshondra Lee Ward was driving passengers around Memphis, Tennessee on June the 1st of 2022 without realizing she was being followed. When the 43-year-old stopped at a red light, the occupants from a car that had been trailing hers since she'd left the pickup spot approached the vehicle and opened fire. While Ward's passengers managed to get out and run away from the scene, the driver was fatally wounded. The woman, a mother of six, had started working for the ride-sharing service only a week earlier. Following her death, Ward's brother expressed the belief that the passengers, none of whom were named, had been the attacker's intended targets. Memphis police launched an investigation into the matter while Lyft released a statement saying they were working with law enforcement to combat violence and keep their drivers safe. No arrests were made in the immediate aftermath, but in mid-June, the police released photos of a vehicle suspected to have been involved in the deadly ambush. Number 6. Andy Van Pham 30-year-old Lyft driver Andy Van Pham picked up a passenger in his 70s early on the morning of April the 4th of 2021. During the ride through Tustin, California, the driver allegedly fell asleep behind the wheel. He was consequently no longer in control of the car and crashed into a light pole in the area of Jamboree Road and Patriot Way. His elderly passenger, whose identity wasn't disclosed, suffered traumatic injuries and didn't survive the accident. Pham was arrested without incident a few weeks later, after the police determined he'd been driving with negligence, resulting in the death of his passenger. He was taken into custody on charges of manslaughter, possession of drug paraphernalia, 
providing false information to a police officer and making an unsafe turn or lane change. Number 5. Eduardo Medido On May the 21st of 2019, Eduardo Medido was driving two passengers to Mount Sinai Hospital in Astoria, Queens, New York City. The male passenger, George Catalano, was moaning in pain for several minutes while being held by an older female passenger, later identified as his mother. During the ride, 36-year-old Catalano removed his shirt and used profanities while demanding that Medido drive faster. The Lyft driver warned him not to be disrespectful, claiming that he'd otherwise have to stop and ask them to exit the car. Catalano reacted by punching him in the back of the head repeatedly as the car was still moving. The dash cam recorded attack occurred during rush hour traffic and Medido struggled to maintain control of his vehicle while he was being struck. The passenger then lunged forward trying to get into the front seat and grabbed Medido by his neck while yelling at him. The latter eventually managed to pull over and Catalano got out of the car only to then walk to the driver's side door and try to punch Medido through his open window. After the video was released, Catalano surrendered to the police and admitted to the attack. He was charged with reckless endangerment and assault. According to police records, he had eight prior arrests, the oldest of which dated back to 2003. Lyft also took measures following the incident permanently banning the passenger from the ride-sharing app. Number 4. Dontarius McGee 36-year-old Lyft driver Brandy Littrell was called to pick up teenager Dontarius McGee from Spring Lake Apartments in Byram, Mississippi on November 2nd of 2021. She drove him to another apartment building in Jackson, but upon arriving at the destination, McGee held the woman at gunpoint. The teenager forced her to get in the backseat of her Dodge Journey, took over the vehicle, and drove her to a wooded area off Beasley Road. He then demanded that she tell him the PIN number to her phone and debit cards. McGee also asked how much money she had in the bank and about her home address. Even though Luttrell had complied with all his demands, McGee then forced her to crawl into the woods and opened fire, hitting her seven times. The teenager fled with the woman's garage door opener and car keys while she was left bleeding in the woods. After she'd waited a few minutes for her attacker to leave, Luttrell started fearing for the life of her grandmother, who was at her home at that time. She gathered her strength and ran to a nearby apartment where she asked for help. Luttrell was subsequently rushed to a nearby hospital with life-threatening injuries. As she later told a media outlet, she survived by the grace of God and started recovering from her multiple gunshot wounds. In the aftermath, McGee was located and arrested by Jackson Law Enforcement on charges of carjacking, kidnapping, and aggravated assault. Number 3. Kevin Rojas on February the 27th of 2022, Lyft driver Kevin Rojas picked up a female tourist from a bar in Miami Beach, Florida. The woman whose identity wasn't released wanted to return to her hotel after becoming physically ill from consuming too much alcohol. During the ride, she fell asleep in the back seat of 28-year-old Rojas's car. She awoke upon hearing the ping, indicating she'd reached her destination, but Rojas drove past her hotel. The woman would later report that he then found a place to park the car and got into the back seat with her. Rojas took advantage of the fact that she was too inebriated to fight him off, lifted her dress and abused her. He then drove the victim back to the hotel, at which point she immediately called the police to report the assault. The Lyft driver was arrested on a charge of sexual battery of a helpless victim and faced a sentence of up to 40 years in prison. Today's topic was requested by Gopher Lee. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Riona Oliver 27-year-old rapper Riona Oliver, who performed as Game Over Ready, booked a lift ride that would ultimately result in her arrest on April the 23rd of 2019. When the driver reached her home in Chalmette, Louisiana, the woman left her five-year-old son alone in the vehicle with the destination set for his school in New Orleans. The driver told her that he couldn't accept a child who wasn't accompanied by an adult as a fear, but Oliver refused to take her son out of the car. She reportedly turned around, walked back inside her home, and didn't return. Instead of taking the child to school, however, the driver decided to bring him to a sheriff's office substation in Arabi, 
and report the mother for leaving him alone in his car. Oliver tried to defend her actions by claiming she hadn't been feeling well upon calling the lift, adding that she hadn't known about the ride-sharing services policy regarding children. The rapper, who was also wanted on two outstanding traffic warrants, was arrested on child desertion charges and booked into the St. Bernard Parish Jail. Number 1. Alessandra Star Ward On November the 19th of 2020, British model and actress Alessandra Star Ward was on a lift ride in Los Angeles, California. She started listening to a song on her phone when the driver asked her to turn off the music. Ward refused and started arguing with the unidentified man, who then threatened to physically remove her from the car. The actress claimed she'd call the police if he were to do so, but the driver then parked the car and pulled her out of the vehicle, along with her belongings. Ward tried to fight back, but the driver then violently threw her onto the ground. Other motorists stopped their cars and intervened to stop the altercation. The lift driver didn't relent from his attack on the much smaller victim until another man put him in a chokehold. The incident was caught on surveillance cameras as the ride-sharing service car was parked along Melrose Avenue. Ward was taken to the hospital with a concussion, a black eye, a sprained ankle, and bruises. In the heroin attack's aftermath, the driver was cited for misdemeanor battery. Thanks for watching. Would you share a lift with an active bank robber or be a passenger in a car that you know will experience total brake failure during the drive? Let us know in the comment section below.